just picked up two uh, two going on three-year-olds. They're officially three now. They've been in a field with friends. They've never been ridden, and they've been handled uh, with leading, but that's about it. So we're going to start breaking these horses, and I believe um, they should move right along, unlike the yearlings going on two that have just become two years old. These are two going on three, and I'm hoping that the training process will maybe only take six months instead of a year. So I've just put the bit in the mouth of this horse, and she's trying to figure out how she can push it out with her tongue. And we're not going to let her. She has to learn to have it settle. Now, see, she's fussing with it, but she'll eventually settle down and accept it. But it's important that from the very beginning, they learn to handle the bit. Before we put a saddle or anything else, they have to take this quietly and with compliance. Uh, this is a rubber bit because today it's freezing and I figured a rubber bit wouldn't be quite as cold <laughs> on the mouth. But for us in Florida, we are not accustomed to this kind of weather. So we'll see how she does. Eric is going to sack her out and we'll see how that goes. Since she hasn't been handled, we're putting on the um, shank that has a chain on it. We do not use it unnecessarily, but it's almost like our backup emergency brake to make her listen, and generally, as soon as they realize that you have that kind of control, uh, they're compliant. We have to be very careful with a horse like this because she's had her own way for a long time. So we'll just uh, very nicely work with her. And uh, as I say, the chain is not to punish, it's just to... Now is that the chain goes over the top of the halter. Eric, pick up the chain there in front, see? This way, we have the halter protecting her from really hurting her nose. And we usually just jiggle it and she'll listen. Now, if you look sideways, you'll see it goes up under her jaw and it's connected on this side over here. But as I say, this is only a backup if she's not compliant. But the halter protects her nose and hopefully she's going to listen to Eric and there's no problem. Now he's jiggling that chain just a little so she understands that it's there. And then what he's going to do is start sacking her out, which means he's just gonna rub a cloth all over her and rub his hand all over her. He lays against her body. He's touching her all over, especially under her girth because that's where she seems to be ticklish. See, she has to learn to trust us and not uh, respond so violently. Now, if she steps on the, the shank because of the halter, it will protect her nose from being broken. That's why you have to be very careful when you use a chain over the nose. You absolutely do not want to harm the horse. To go forward, you can't pull on the nose. You, I mean, he's not pulling, he's pulling on the halter or a snapper from behind. Throw the... Now praise her. It's absolutely unacceptable to have a horse rear. So right away we have to establish that if you don't like what we're doing, comply, don't rear, it's dangerous. He's putting a surcingle on and he's felt her under her belly and made her uh, realize but uh, there may be some action when uh, we put that surcingle on, when he tightens it. He probably won't tighten it too much, he'll just put it on loosely and let her get used to that. And then incrementally, he'll tighten it up. She's listening, but she's calm. This is where they could explode. Now he's gonna take off the shank because when she responds to this girth around her, if she wants to explode and then get used to it, we'll let her. Okay, now, kiss to her. Let's see what she does when she goes to move. Give her time because she may. That's pretty good so far. <laughs> we slid it back more into position behind her withers. And he's going to very nicely take up the the buckle. You're going to take it up on that. This side's got more holes in yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah, I understand. You're doing great. Both sides mess with it. 
That's good. I always work the horse on both sides. Believe it or not, they can get used to one side and then not know when you do the same thing on the other. <laughs> It does not appear to bother her that she's got this around her. This is a good sign. She might be a pretty reasonable filly. We put the uh, uh, the bags with rattle in them, and of course now she's different. But this is desynthesizing her. Uh, she will settle down, and then every time she moves and it rattles, she'll get used to it. And, and then she'll be okay. This is just the initial, not a surprise, because this stuff is flopping against her side, and she says, damn. But you watch, she'll settle down because it doesn't do any good to run. But isn't it better to use equipment rather than humans to do this kind of thing? See, she's gonna settle down. She's a smart filly. Oh,